Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 29 We are getting deep into Moonrise Towers Well we are not there right now Because I'm going to pick up Starion Just so you know I don't judge you for what happened to that bard Alfira. Oh that's still but The look of well, guilt on your face was priceless That was like 25 episodes ago Watching me sweat, lol. I don't care really, but you could have been more subtle about it. So yeah, he's gonna be. He's gonna be in the party Darling, later on. I thought you'd never ask. We are taking Thank him God. just for a minute. We're not even gonna level up, level him up or anything. Because we need to do a thing with him. You, you'll see, you'll see, but. Very well, into the Moonrise Towers now. Afternoon. That's far enough. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. My apologies. Welcome back, true soul. What news? And that's the reason why we cannot uh, take Halsing with us. Uh, that's for your superiors to know. Right enough. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Let's hope this Zarel likes what we have to say. Very well. In her name. Praise the absolute. Praise the absolute. Lol. Very well. Goblins are such parasites. Uh, just heads up. This episode might be shorter than usual. Just like last one. But that's because the episodes that are to come are going to be way longer. We kind of need to set the ground for what's coming. No doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the absolute. Oh. Another true soul. The disciple will want to see you through the main door. Very well. So a few things here, a few things. Um when you make it here, over there it's gonna be that um, trader that's a halfling, I believe. Um, we kill her. I killed her at the Goblin come way back, but yeah, she's got um, she's got things you might want. She's got a few items. In the meantime, this guy is a trader, and a few things, uh, a couple of interesting things happen when Carlac speak to him. So we are get to see that as well. There's many things to to discover in this place. Well, Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me, and here you are. Karlak, isn't it? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Who's Flo? Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, or where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Um... Is she a threat? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. She's a half-devil. Impossible to read. I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What can I say? The bitch had good jokes. Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins, said I could sell them if I wanted. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. We do have some of those. But you'll see why we want to check it out. I was thinking there for a second. 
For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your Flo did some devil woo-woo and stuck them in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. You want the coins or not? Right. First coins got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born to a cruel mother and a violent father and three evil brothers, all named Balder. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint, destined to be her soulmate, struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our Mavery. Well, wow. the scud of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess. Lol. Well, yeah, this is what happens. And uh, I don't know, just a little interesting thing to see. Next coin. This one has got the soul of a man named Frakes. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Neverwinter. The worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered. Made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. Damn. That one's Better double. Better die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. Next one. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongear. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Ongear. Okay. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. I did my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand. All right. So we need to buy a few things from here. Well, we don't need to, but you know, with the whole uh, accumulating bills and such. Well, there is this harvest good, but no, don't really need it. And I don't think I'm gonna use it. Well, for one, we have this. She could be good for Karlak. Depending on if we change her. It's a plus two constitution. And the rage. We're gonna run out of money, I think. But it matters not. Let's see. I seem to remember he had good crossbow, but it doesn't. It, apparently, I was mistaken. But all the gloves in the game are usually pretty good. Right, yes, and we want to use this at some point as well. Why not take one of these? And... You should have a... Arrow of slaying dragon, just so you know. Same with the trader at the last lighting. One of these, in case you you don't find it, I don't know. 
seems like sometimes he doesn't show up for some reason. But yeah, very well. I think that's it. I don't really see anything worth. I go one for the stealth. Yeah. Let's get going. If we were to have the um, the other trader, the halfling, would have been so good for for like said we could have we could have already like changed a lot of stuff. But yeah, I'm, well, what can you do? We kill we kill her at the goblin camp. Better hope you can handle what I've got. We can go up there, we got the soul coins as well. Um, there is really much to see here. But, the moment you were waiting. Gentlemen. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Us? No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough! These are the ones that escaped the goblin camp. Energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpoles, worms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Keep watching. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorm? Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies. Isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! <laughs> Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Very well, let's see. Wow, imagine? We attacked them already. Now that I, I think that's that's suicidal, quite frankly. But we want to kill them, right? I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Thank you. I'm glad someone noticed. I'm sure they were very enthusiastic. But zeal without efficacy is for children, not servants. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. This guy is really cool. Kill them quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> Damn. I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. as you see fit or better yet let us take advantage of our surprising guest and their particular creative genius I'm sure the results will send a clear message to the troops on the importance of discipline of course my lord thank you You heard the general. 
The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. You gotta give it to him. It's pretty, it's pretty cool character. Um, they are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report well. to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! <laughs> well, we, we should play it, you know? We don't wanna be discovered. Oh my god, this is from the Dark Urge. This is so crazy. I dream of blood pools deep enough to bathe in. Run me a bath. I quite honestly want to say it. Let's no. damn car like this. Oh. Oh. oh damn. Oh. Well. Let's go, Caesarel. And mind you, don't slip in the goblin guts. In another lifetime, you were greeted in this throne room like a god. Not the living wreck you are now. Oh. <laughs> disgrace has something to do with this Catherick. You yearn to flay him until he forgets himself, as you have. Just finding this Dirge, st uh, dirge uh, stuff is really, really cool. Indulging your thoughts of lacerating him. No, 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 no. Ignore the feeling. With difficulty, you banish the pooling evil that bewitches your quivering lips. We already got an oopsie. Perhaps parts of you were scattered in this spire. Time to knit yourself together. The seat of the Absolute's power. Occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. Note to self. You got this, uh, right, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, you're gonna be the bestest, true soul that ever was. All you got to do is trust Minthara, listen to the absolute, and do as she says. Then you get your audience and you'll be proper rewarded. Don't go listening to them fakers like Dren. Dren does not hear shit. Well, look kind of bad now. This little thing is uh, had expectations. Which is a bit sad. But yeah, before anything. I believe, I just realized, I believe it's, uh, I didn't, might be that the arrow didn't show because it was Karlak and I had the charisma. If Maybe. you have coin, then show it. Maybe. No. Maybe it was replaced. Same with the crossbow. It's not here. Well, doesn't matter. Get moving, will you? You shut up. But yeah, the reason why we brought a Starion, I believe it's here. Here. A little attention here because this is an interesting character. Quite repulsive, but interesting. Araj Oblodra, trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. Why are you interested in my pale friend? <laughs> Please. You think someone in my line of work wouldn't recognize a vampire spawn when they see one? I trade in blood, 
and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one, if you'd honor me with your blood. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. Uh, what exactly would you do with the with the blood you keep? Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. Uh, what kind of potion is this exactly? No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? Well, okay. Just a little prick and it's all over. Close your eyes. There we are. All of your very best traits in a bottle. Use it well. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your vampiric friend. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. Huh. I won't bite. Oh, I prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? <laughs> Lol. That's what I tell him. <laughs> Lord. As it should be. This is Bruce. Do you have a name, Spawn? Uh, Starian. But, but hold on. Good. Now, Starian. <laughs> I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry. You want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale, but it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Oh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? Well, spoiler: we need to do. We, uh, we need to get him to do it. Well, we do, you don't need it, but it's a plus two on strength, uh, and it's permanent. So it's really it's too good to. Uh, to pass. I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? Are you actually asking me to do this? Trading me for some, some, some potion? Because there's something wrong with her blood. I can smell it from here. It's rank. Rank. Drow. Oblodra was infamous for experimenting with mind flayers. Could her blood be tainted somehow? That's interesting. Uh, push on that powerful could change our fates. Isn't that worth a bad taste in your mouth? Okay, let's uh, I, let's persuade this guy. I suppose you have a point. I don't have all day, true soul. Fine. I'll do it. Darling, I've had a sudden change of heart. <laughs> After all, who could resist such a delectable neck? Hold very, very still. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I feel exquisite, though. 
So here's my part of the bargain. I hope you find it as satisfying as I found this. It was everything I imagined, and then more. I'll be able to put this to good use. Fucking weird though. But yeah, there it is. We've got this. That's the first one she gave us. And this one, that is the Everlasting Vigor. Permanently increases your strength by two, basically. 21. I mean, it's good. And yeah, that's basically the only reason why I brought Starion here, because we are not going to pick him up just yet. We're going to get to do the whole shebang with him. But in the meanwhile, I need... Um, I need to bring Lysel. So let's bench him for a while. I hear you did the deed. How was your little romp? Also, this is everything that we haven't talked really. You filthy devil. I'm shocked. I thought the two of you would just flop about like dying fish and then call Lol. us a night, but no. Shows me. Uh, but you're not here to gossip. What can I do for you? Is there anything else we can... Well, this whole thing we want to explore, so not yet. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I... Guess I'll spend my I thought he was gonna. Well, you do all the hard work. I thought he was gonna have it's something so to say tough. about what just happened. Quite frankly, where's Lysel? Lol. Speak your mind. I'm listening. It is done. Very well. Let's get out. To draw my weapon and gut every last one of these cultists. Base out. Shush. Just don't get carried away. It's gonna get us Some of those caught. Might be of use to us unspilled, at least for a while. Keeping this, by the way. Thanks. Wait, where am I going? Okay, here. So that's the weirdo one. Uh, came from here, right? Yep. The hell? Hold on. Oh, there's uh, St. George killing the dragon, of course. Yeah, that, that, that's some of the Baldur's Gate lore you didn't know, huh? These guys have no HP. Let's see in this room. I can pick up this thing? Oh, it seems like I can. Now this um, ogre... I'm so... I really love when we get the inside check because I'm terrible explaining these things. Something in the walls? What is it? Pig! In walls above! Maybe 
whole tower. Loudest near kitchen. But Mick Band not allowed to pet nose. You the kitchen. Meat, you share. Very well. Something in the building. In the whole of the tower, it seems. And with that being said, I'm gonna show you something. But for that, I'm gonna detach myself. I'm gonna go on my own. There is many, many secret things here, by the way. Hopefully, we'll get the most of them. Now here you can see how it's uh, like leaving pulsating through a narrow crack in the wall. You hear something shift against stone, the pulse of a crawling living thing. Well, we we, should, we could do this throw, but it's really bad. living network extending down into the dark where something wakes it's a trap tendrils snap like iron cords around your wrist that presence in your mind looms large closer now right i mean it's a uh, high a high roll with a soft sucking sound your hand pulls free the flesh within the wall retreats there is something in there I don't know what happened to be to be frank I don't know what happens when you do that But it seems like I'm larger. Again, the sickening slither of flesh on stone, barely an arm's length away. There is no hesitation this time. The tendrils lash out Holy like shit. a waiting predator. The tendrils tighten, and suddenly you are. Lol. Elsewhere, the presence is no longer approaching you, but encircling you, observing you. Dark arch. I never did this, guys. <laughs> this is great. Uh, what does it mean? Damn. Pause, as if it struggles to compress its vast being down into terms you can understand. The absolute they have given me to better speak to your kind without breaking you. I was once a servant of the grand design. Now 
I am a slave to theirs. But you Grand design. Right. Several of the grand design. Now I am as, uh, and as, I am a slave to theirs. So that's referring to um, the whole thing with the mind flayers, because they were uh, they they used to rule all above. Um, well, that other realm basically with the Githyanki and all. You were the jewel, hope for their design, but. Now you are their floor. Who are they? You abandoned me. You left me the slave of the puny chosen. Used to bind this world. But I cannot bind you. You must come to me, so I can become myself again. A world away, the grip on you tightens. A desperate, drowning thing that pulls you down with it. Come, 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 come. Resist it! That's amazing. The, the the voice box. I never encountered. It must be the source of the absolute. Well, there you are. That is a thing I never did, by the way. So that's when I get the most uh, excited when I see new stuff. Keep in mind that this is still my second place, right? Never, I, I haven't had another one because I saved the dirge for this for this series. Yo, I'm massive. Look, what the hell. Is that the elixir or is the uh, whatever happened in there? <clears throat> well, yeah, it's the elixir. I am massive. Very well. We should get going towards the... Um... Oh yeah, because I did mention last time... That we got to rescue the tieflings. But... I think it's just way better if we if we walk from the outside. Quite frankly, I'm not entirely sure how we are going to to do that because, uh, well, you might be aware already, but there is just many, many ways to to do it. And with that, there is many ways that you can miss. In the end, you have to choose because it's most likely that you're not gonna see everything in everything once. Uh, so yeah, here, here there are the docks. Walk in death. Let's 
But I think I got an idea already of how we are going to develop that. In the meanwhile, I would like to... To just... Um, finish clearing, clearing off this area. There's a few things here, I believe. That might be worth a look. This is the the bar, the tavern. We might have left something from here, quite frankly. Well, there is a chest. I don't, I don't know if we pick this up. Potions and elixirs. Oh yeah, that's it. It's almost like I'm encumbered with this uh, elixir. But it looks cool though. Anyway, here's a little interesting thing. We got the uh, the ducks here. It's a chest over there. And these guys are actually um, what, what would you call them? Mercenaries, I think. <laughs> it's funny how big I am. Enjoy the view. This feels like it's stretch all the way to the Sea of Swords in a clear day. If right. This place ever. I'm afraid you missed the ship through so, but there'll be another along soon enough. We're already stacking the cargo. Where are the ships heading? Baldur's Gate. The army marches over land. But we sent some friends ahead to smooth the way. Uh, what, uh, what cargo are they bringing? Nothing of note. Just supplies for the battle ahead. I've already checked it twice over. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Authority. Right, your job is to guard. Leave the details to me, yes? Oof. Uh, right you are, I suppose. Check away. Very well. This is the, the thing, interesting thing I was telling you about, look. Centering shipping crate. So these are the Centering, it seems. Uh, mercenaries. Oh, well, it seems like I can pick up everything from here now. Uh, no, I do not want that. But yeah, look at this. Shipping crate. radiates from one barrel amidst the cargo tadpoles sleeping and scarcely aware but echoing yours a hundredfold look at them all enough to infect an entire army examine the seal it looks familiar to you the wind serpent of the centerim it seems their pursuit of profit extends even here Right. So, higher for... Oh... I mean, let's try and get it because uh, it would just be cold. That is just the first try. What the fuck? A pattern of blank minds, newly born. They carry only a bare shred of memory. Inherited. 
inherited from something older. A sleep of centuries. The birth and destruction of a settlement above forming only background noise. It's full of worms. Until something descended down into the darkness and the dreamer awoke. So they see. Void of essence, void of purpose. We cannot allow their birth. We certainly cannot. So they are sending this over, uh, sending it to Baldur's Gate in order to um, infect it. And I'm not entirely sure. I mean, that dwarf is looking at me funny. Okay, he's leaving. We've got it. Not entirely sure if that does anything, but there you go. And, well, there's a few things over here, isn't it? Well, nothing much, just... Cat hole. But yeah, nothing else in this area. So, we're gonna get through here. Because through here you... Be kinder, you, know, prisoners, you we're closer to the prisoners. This is the, the prison. Duh. So, there is a few people here. It's a trail of blood over there. Is the usual eyes. And here's the prisons. These are Lia and uh who is it? where is it? Cal. These two are sons of um I forgot his name, but he's at the last light in, the drunk one. Let me guess. The absolute is the only way. Don't bother. Why don't you and Zevlor take a long walk off a short cliff? Zevlor? What do you mean, Zevlor? He made it? He's all right. What do you mean, several? That put me off. Your conversation has been Ow. cut short. These prisoners are for Disciple Balthazar's attention only. Oh, this is the warden. We know her. We've seen her before. Another critical. Your reasoning is hard to argue with. You're free to speak to the prisoners. Are they going to speak to me? You want to help? The gnomes couple cells down are up to something, and we're in. I can't read bloody minds! Go on! Before someone sees! Well, alright. So, as I told you, I was trying to think how we were going to do this. And the only idea I got so far is to try and kill them with stealth. Why with stealth and why not just bash in them, uh, bash them? Because I want to, uh, I want to go back. Okay, I cannot show you. I cannot show you the map, but I want to go throughout the Moonrise Towers and still be. Mm, in good terms with them, you know, but hopefully killing the area here Let me talk to her You, not you 
Yeah, she remembers. Catherick may think you pose no threat to him in your disgrace, but I know the things you've done. Where was it? I don't remember. Keep your bloody thoughts to yourself and your head down. How in the hell do you know me? Well, we do know her. You set foot in our tower once. You did not leave. At least not through any door I have watch over. I assumed you overstayed your welcome. Little did I expect you to intrude again. Your name, your place, was kept from all of us last time, but you were to be shown the utmost of respect. Respect you must have proven yourself unworthy of. And now you waste my time. Regardless, know this. I am the Warden. The prisoners are my charges, and I answer to Disciple Balthazar himself. Balthazar. Stay on my good side. Balthazar? Thorm, I believe. Who is Disciple Balthazar? My. They are letting all sorts become a true soul these days. He is chief advisor to General Ketherick, and one of the Absolute's favored. His necromancy is second only to the general's. It is an honor to serve him. Calm down. Uh, yeah, we should do this, definitely. Your mind swirls with information about the prison. The small levers behind the warden's desk open every cell, while the larger one triggers the alarm. And interesting items confiscated from prisoners lie above the warden's office. So she's got an alarm. If you are going to stare, kindly do it elsewhere. As I said, you are free to roam where you wish, but do not speak to the prisoners. Such a dull face, lol. Let's see. My face might be bland, but yours. It is now carved into my memory forever. Anyone who refutes the absolute is an enemy of mine, true soul. You would do well to remember that. Okay, very well. Doesn't seem to do anything else. So yeah. Prison criminal cell liver. Prisoner log. So that's the alarm, I think. And these are cell 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5. So the thing is, the eye comes through the door. There is a place upstairs. I wonder if anyone else is up here. There's an eye. Hold on. I wonder if she'll notice. We need to save the tieflings first of all. Otherwise, we won't be able to. If I try to steal here, some some people. Kinda get feisty. Wolverine's hammer. We've heard that name before. Probably you don't remember already, but uh, it's the guy, the gnome, the deep gnome that we met at the windmill, <laughs> the windmill in the in the goblin camp. That was talking to us. But yeah, okay, that's locked. The idea now is to reduce the eyes. Get the world into. I don't know, somewhere more discreet. Kill her. 
There is a guy here. And I believe this one... No, he doesn't have anything close. Okay. This is Warbrain. This is not the guy we met at the windmill, but the guy we met was looking for him, sort of thing. You ordered that guard about as if you were the absolute herself. What do you want with us, exactly? The eye? Huh. And why would you be so inclined? I know the chiefling's in prison here, I want to break you all out. It's a lot easy throw. Those Spitfires. Well, they certainly gave the guards a run for their money. And they'd be a help in the escape. I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilburn. The bag or I forgot. <laughs> We've got a plan. For us and the tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools, that head case of a warden robbed ours, but anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not iron hand quality. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdor, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. Right. So, we did pick up the... his hammer. It was his hammer, right? Alongside you if it comes to that. We won't let them win. Not now, not ever. So now the thing is to figure out that she gets in her office again. Come here. All right. Very nice. Well, this changes plans. Yeah, nothing happened around. Don't worry. We also have that thing over there. Look at that. That's where they throw the dead. Uh, okay, so this guy, 70. Let's get going. This one, 100. Right. So let's wait until she comes about. Hold up somewhere, planning to burst in, spells ablaze, and rescue us. I bloody hope not. If he saves us, I'll never hear the end of it.
That's it. Right. You're being arrested for assault. Arrest these Judging nuts. Oh, and the other one didn't notice. That's brilliant. I thought I thought she would. Go on. Nice. Okay, that one's dead. Where are you going? Right. Well, I got no strength. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy now. Wasted the action, I didn't think about it. Oh, that's true, she revives after that. I forgot about that. Very well. This was easier than I ever thought. So now, uh, yeah, I, I eliminated the other eye. Now, we only need to take care of this one. Hopefully, the other ones up there won't come here. We're about to bang. Okay, well, let's see. You were witnessed assaulting Arrest someone. my balls, bitch. No. Have you slept at all? Have you? Fair point. I feel it. Where are you going? One more making me sweat. Death. Heavy crossbow plus one. Hey, that's not bad. And we really need to pick up uh, all that shit because no, we need to. Uh, What's next? To record money, really. It's been a long day. Mm. Better stop to rest soon. Yeah. All right. We still have those idiots out here. This is gonna be the slaughter of Boonrise Towers. Okay, so they're split. Yeah, and you can go up here. I wouldn't want this one to to go over there. I'm gonna stay here. 
lol And we are gonna get 70 70 Right Shut up. You're being arrested for assault. We are very soon to change uh, Carlax build with the uh, with a spear. Right. Let's finish this. Oh, and the other one still has an aggro. That's insane. Ah, the fucking halberd users. They're the worst. Right. As for me, yeah, I need to rest because I have nothing. You're being arrested for assault. Shut the fuck up. Look, on this guard's face, you're getting off lightly. Look at that stupid hat. Revives as well. One HP. Hopefully this one. Hey, but he's not dead. Is he? Now he's dead. Now let's the idea it's to um, to go and free them. Oh no, we are missing people here. So there is very interesting thing about these two, but you only can get uh, stories and stuff from them if you are friends with Minthara. If you're a bad guy, basically. In front of the other. Head forward, back straight. Make them fear you. But yeah. If you're not, they just... Uh, spout some random stuff. You were witnessed assaulting someone. Oh lol. Okay. Hey, well, that's it. We can proceed. Hey, that's never gonna be. Yeah, they can come in handy. Now we can save them. Now the idea... It's... To... To... Well, to give him the tool... He's gonna... Burst the wall open. And as he goes there, we are gonna go in here. 
so we can we can go through the cell you know we can use the same path unless this evil can get a your feet fly fast my friend any luck with those tools uh your hammer blessed Gerdol, i thought i'd never see it again thank you the plan is to wait for a quiet moment then bust out the back wall we'll grab the tieflings along the way we'll need them if it comes to a fight you however are the clincher once we move keep the patrols busy if the bastards spot us all of bloody moonrise will come down on us worry not i've killed them all we'll move once it's quiet until then be ready right so you see he's gonna go and, and do that damn i gotta go quickly and that is the cell too why don't we just open it because if we open it we have to go through the whole moon rising we have to fight basically so now we open it and we can come through here and i don't know where he is well the tieflings are over here the right there they come i'm assuming using this I am massive, dude. <laughs> Need some help. Immune to fire. Boat's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. Right. Uh, yeah, let's go to the last light in. We want to come back, obviously. Where If we did everything right, we are not an enemy. Because nobody noticed any of this. But yeah, let's go. Safe? That's no small claim in these parts. Lead the damn way. What a bunch. <laughs> you drift through the dark until time, skill or luck brings you to last light's dock. What's up? Hold there. You can't just land and start unloading strangers. They're procedures. Damn it. No one gets in without being tested. Commander Jahira's orders. I thought we were supposed to save them. Uh, these people need sanctuary, not procedures. And they'll have it once we know they're free from infection. Here, form a line. Let's see if the Absolute's little pet recognizes any of you. The Absolute's what? What are you doing? Uh, he only wants to see uh, if you're infected is safe. Okay. If what you said is true. No one has anything to fear. If not, well, we'll soon find out. Would you imagine now, like, the plot twist, and one of them is uh, an absolute, I'll not ask uh, absolute cultist? So I'm guessing we can go now. Yeah, he's gonna check them one one by one. Lol. That is something I, I didn't get to see. It's quite... It's quite fun. But yeah, let's... Let's see about Yehira. Let's see what she has to say. We didn't find Mole though, uh, the kid. 
I thought she uh, she was gonna be there. Look, yo, look at my size. It's insane. It's so funny. Traitors among us. A child taken. We still haven't found him. And her. Still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too. I... Just focus on defeating Catherick. Agreed. We must end the threat at Moonrise all together. With your help, we stand every chance of doing just that. I trust that you will. I saw Catholic. He regenerated before my eyes. Gruesome, isn't it? I'm glad you survived the encounter at least. Did you learn anything more? Uh, he's calling himself the Chosen of the Absolute. Chosen? Oh, that's three masters Catholic has served. Our paladin isn't very picky. He's a dark he's paladin. He's himself with mind flares. But I cannot see what he gains. Perhaps we can force it out of him once we have him up against a wall. Was there anything else? Well, not really. We need to we need to go back. Paranoid. Good. That means he's protecting something. I'll wager it's the source of his invulnerability. He'd protect that at any cost. Was there anything else? Not really. So yeah. So here was the other guy. He's not here. These are the kids. We just free. Of course, Ronan went looking for us. If you see him, oh, send fuck. his ass back here and fast. This is so. This is so relatable. Have you ever gotten when you were young? Have you ever gotten to your parents' home and one of them is not there because they went out for you, sort of thing? This is the guy. Damn it! Catherick's lackeys found me already. Trust it all. You need to deal with him. Lucky. Every moment Catherick lives is another. I am away from Baldur's Gate. I need to return. And soon. You don't tell me anything else? Every moment, Keth. No? Okay. Ketherick's forces are infiltrating this place. You've got to take the fight to them. Are they? Well, that is insanity. Uh, well, I don't know why I did differently. Maybe we all cut. We'll keep an eye on Isabel. If they send anyone else to snatch her, we'll be there to stop them. But if we were to do all of this, the thing is this guy gets to talk to us about um, his, uh, his family tree, the Ironham clan, right? We've heard about it before and he starts to talk about lore and about how they once served to Servok. Which is a ball spawn, basically. The antagonist of Baldur's Gate One, and it was pretty interesting. I don't know why I did wrong. I really wanted to. Uh, I wanted him to give me that dialogue. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Every moment. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. But yeah, we need to get back at the Moonrise Towers and well get going with everything else we got going on so we're gonna leave that for next episode i thought it was gonna be shorter so apologies for the long video i, I really assume it was gonna be short because we still have lots of things to see around here and yeah no it's just it's just as i tell you like i really hope you've been catching up on everything that I've been talking about and everything that I've been reading alongside the walkthrough because once we make it into Act 3, all of those things are gonna just go domino effect and it's gonna be great. I hope to I hope to um, just to go through that as I planned in the very beginning and I'm gonna leave 
here for today. I hope you, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.